That's the most expensive Class B camper van that you can buy off a dealer's lot here in North America. It's the Airstream Interstate Lounge EXT, and it starts at a whopping $170,000 without any options. Does it live up to its high price tag? Stick with me to the end of the episode to find out. Hi, everyone. I'm Neil Balthaser, and this is Ultra Mobility, your channel all about Class B and B plus camper vans. If you love camper vans or you're looking to buy one, then subscribe and click the little bell. I do a camper van review just like this every week. Now, here are some shots of the exterior and interior of the Interstate Lounge for you to enjoy, courtesy of Airstream. I'll see you on the inside. Welcome to a 2018 Airstream Interstate Lounge. Airstream Interstates have two different configurations, and they're both built on the 23-foot extended 170-inch Mercedes Sprinter chassis. Now, the two different floor plans are the Interstate Lounge, which is what we're in right now, and then the Grand Tour, which doesn't have these two additional seats up front, and instead everything moves and you get a little bit bigger, kitchen and, and bathroom. So this one is the lounge where you have four captain chairs up front. So the lounge up front is really comfortable. You can place a table right here and then four people can seat around, sit around here. Now the nice thing about the lounge edition is look how many three-point seat belts that you have. You have two in the, here, two captain's chairs here for four two more in the back so you have six three-point seat belts in addition you have another you can see the middle lap restraint back here also has a seat belt and each of these jump seats also have seat belts although they're not three-point they're two-point seat belts when you come into this airstream it definitely feels higher end you can see that it follows and looks very much like the airstream line of products so you're always going to get the brushed aluminum seal. It's easy to clean. And you have the extruded aluminum along the bottoms of the cabinets here. That's kind of trademark Airstream. And then you have this high gloss cabinetry here, a little bit of curvature to it. The floor looks like wood, but it's actually a laminate. So that's nice because of durability. But I think the look of the floor is really nice. You have suede going all the way up the sides here of, of the walls and the doors, which just gives it a high-end look. Now, this particular model is around $170,000. That's the MSRP. We can also see that this interstate has multiplex wiring. This is a sign that it has multiplex wiring, so you can control everything, all your different lighting banks and things like that, the awning, the generator, everything from here. This is just like on my ascent. The cabinets, this cabinet is not positive latching, which is surprising on a coach this expensive. Again, this cabinet as well is not positive latching. They don't actually drop down a metal piece from here and secure the, the cabinet closed. Moving here into the kitchen, you can see I've got a very nice Corian countertop and I've got one flip up extension over there, but, and this is the tabletop. You can't see it, but the tabletop is the same Corian here. And, and I really wish that like Pleasure Way and others would do that. I like the fact also you got a little place to put your sponge. I don't have a place to put a sponge in my Pleasure Way. Uh, so I always have to find a place for it. And I like the fact that this, they thought of that. And you can see the little plastic tray here for your sponges from your sink. This is your microwave. It's kind of unique. Give it a little pull. You can see it, it comes out on its own. One thing I don't like is we talked about this in another one of my episodes about the five positive latching things you should look for is see this has this metal piece here that flips out to keep the microwave closed and it's got does have a piece of rubber to keep it secured but it could have a tendency to, to vibrate loose and then that microwave drawer would pop out. Two burner cooktop, here's your compressor refrigerator down below here. It looks to be around a three cubic foot refrigerator. Again, see this uh, attaching mechanism here on the on the refrigerator? It's just plastic. It doesn't positively latch, it just grabs. And I'm a little concerned that that will wear out over time. And uh, there is a 
again, the same thing that you have on the microwave, they have this metal piece here that holds the door shut. But on a rig this expensive, I'd rather see a true positive latching on the, both the microwave and the refrigerator. Now, behind you is the bathroom. Signature Airstream interstate look with the uh, round window and the brushed aluminum trim. Here we are inside the bathroom. Bathroom's a little bit small. There's just this one door here. It's not curved at all. But you do have a finished sink, which I like. I, I, I like the fact that this is integrated. This is an integrated shower head as well. And you have a porcelain toilet. Might be nice to have taken out that soap dispenser thing just to give yourself a little more room in the bathroom. But overall, it, it's, it's a nice bathroom. Okay, we're setting back in the lounge of the Airstream Interstate Lounge Edition. You have the sofa in the back, which then converts into a bed. And these two jump seats here, um, you just easily lift them out. And then they just, they have their own mechanical slides here and they slide into place. Although I have heard from other Airstream Interstate owners that this little piece here is it can it, it separates the the sofa and the ottoman jump seat you can feel this when you're sleeping so just something to be aware of you'll need to try it out yourself i like the fact that there's no wardrobe cabinet on either side of the ottoman because now you actually have five people that can sit around your table that goes here it's nice material all the way up i believe you can get the option or these already has the option where these MCD shades electronically lower. This is a 24 inch Samsung flat screen. We already talked about the aisle with here, but no, this comes out a good six inches from the wall. And so that's already constraining you. And I, I would be very worried, you can see as I pass through here from the aisle, of hitting this television uh, all the time. So that would be a little bit worrying for me. It is positive latching. I talked about that before in my video about the five things to look for in your RV that's positive latching. This is positive latching. It's the proper way to do it. Otherwise, what happens is this television swings out into the aisle uh, as you're driving down the road. This is the EXT edition, which means if you look behind the sofa, there's a lot of space behind the sofa. There's a good look. It looks like 18 inches or more of space uh, for storage back there, which is fantastic. And it also makes your bed that much larger as well. So that's the EXT, that's why this is an EXT. You have USB ports here, which are nicely located. And then down below you have two AC outlets over there. You have another couple AC outlets up here. This is for the kitchen. I don't know if you can see down here, this is unfinished wheel well down here. I would have expected a little bit more from a coach this expensive that these wheel wells would be more finished. Now I like having, again, they have these little lights here and in the galley there that just light up the pathway for you. At night when you get out of bed, it's difficult to see. So it's nice to see these down here. Just a little touch of light just on the walkway to get to the bathroom. Now in this particular layout, I like it the fact that we have an open side, but the open side on this layout's along the driver's side. That's going to be your preference, whether or not you prefer the wide open space on the driver or the passenger side. There's advantages to each one. Having it along the driver's side is very open when you first come in. The disadvantages are that you're facing out into someone else's campsite back here. And the advantages of having it on the other side is this bathroom moves over here. And so when you're driving on the highway and you're passing someone, it's much easier to see out these back windows because you don't have this bathroom wall and the bulkhead blocking your view. But you'll need to try it out yourself and test drive one of these to see which, which one you prefer. I, I really like the this interstate. I think it's that, from what I understand, Airstream out, buys from Mercedes. There's some 200 options that Mercedes offers on the Sprinter and Airstream options every single one of them. So they get the upgraded suspension. They get all of the safety, collision, lane keep assist, blind spot detection. They get cameras on the side mirrors in the front. Um, they, they've opted for every single thing, uh, all the maximum number of airbags uh, in the cab. Um, and then they put additional options in as well. So you, as we talked about before, you can see there's an air suspension control there at the driver's chair where they can control the front and the back individually to smooth out the ride, especially in the back. Some of these longer wheelbase Mercedes really bounce around a lot in the back. You need to ride in the back when you're looking at one to verify that it actually is comfortable. 
having that air suspension really helps. Also, take a look at the Fusion color touchscreen in the front. They replaced the standard Mercedes Becker with that Fusion color touchscreen. It's much nicer, much bigger display. So overall, I'm impressed. I, I, I like the inner state. I think it's a very nice van. Uh, it's certainly uh, for premium buyers. This is not inexpensive at over $170,000. There are a few things, uh, nits that I have that I would like to see Airstream address. I talked about those. But if you're in the market for a premium RV, uh, this is one that you should consider the the Interstate. It's this lounge edition and the Grand Tour. They're very, very well appointed. One thing is you get a three-year warranty. I wish Airstream would change that because this is one of the most expensive vans you can get on the market and some vans which are a lot less expensive than this are also offering three years and of course Road Trek offers six years and Pleasure Way offers five so I really wish Airstream would consider upping the the warranty uh, on these vans but it is a nice van and I think you will very much like it if you're a couple looking to buy a premium van. <laughs> See that circle below that's trying to grab your attention? Click it to subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more reviews of vans longer than 21 feet, click the playlist to the right.